like device that they had. Yeah. Okay, it's Galaxy Gear Droid Life, and we're gonna do sort of a quick software tour and look at some of the new features that are introduced with the Galaxy S4. So the first thing is the uh, the lock screen. So and they've added this this hover feature. I don't know if you guys can see that little trace following my finger. Um, so it's that glowing light, and then if you actually touch this, it's kind of a cool lock screen. You can see the light sort of glowing and glowing. Uh, and then if you want to unlock it, it's just a swipe across and unlock. So once you get in there, this this looks pretty basic as far as touch whiz goes. You know, you've got panels. You can pinch to zoom to add more and remove some. You know, most of the widgets in here. We'll look at these later, but they appear to be just sort of standard widgets. Same thing with the app drawer. You go in here. You go in here. You can swipe between these. Um, we should point out that it's crazy buttery smooth, but we also were talking about this earlier, and that just makes sense nowadays. Phones should be this crazy fast. Here's just a look at some of the widgets. There's a little leg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know, same stuff you guys have seen a number of times. We go ahead and go into settings. I would love to talk to somebody more about. You see, they've actually changed the menu up in here. It's not just the standard Android one panel. You actually have four panels of stuff up here now. So if we go down here and go to about device, you can see Android 4.2.2. So it's actually running the most current version of Android, which is surprising. Um, there's a model number i9505. We're not sure if that'll change if it, with different model numbers we see them, but we thought i9500 was the going to be the update, or I'm sorry, the version. Uh, but if we go in here and go to My Device, this is where you're going to see motion and gestures. So some of the new features they introduced, like palm motion, where you can basically adjust your phone just by waving across it. We'll show you that in a second. Air gestures, that thing I was doing on the lock screen where I was hovering my finger. Uh, but then if we go back here to Smart Screen, this is where you see Smart Scroll and Smart Pause, which are what focuses on your eyes, and then you're able to scroll, and turn away, and pause videos, and things like that. So we'll try to show you one of those as well. But otherwise, in here, it's pretty much looks like old Samsung TouchWiz menus. It's just separated into four different things. So let's go ahead and go into the browser. So I have, you can see I've got four, we can't really see it, but I've got four different tabs open up there. So if I have multiple tabs open, I can actually swipe the boss and it will switch between tabs. No problem, you're welcome. So you just swipe back and forth. Okay. Thanks, Let's try that one more time. You can also scroll, but we're having a little issue getting that to work. So if you pull down, it's supposed to scroll. Yeah, we've had issues trying to get this to work. It just kind of swipes in between screens. So anyway, that's one of the things you can do. But if you focus on your eyes, and I'll see if I can get it to do this, I'll show you the uh, tilt function. Thank you. Uh, I don't know uh, what protocol it's going off of. you ask any of the guys? Can't get it to work, of course. Oh, there we go. So I'm just sort of tilting it. Like it's focus on my eyes right now and as I tilt it it actually does scroll so that's kind of cool um, and that's basically some of the new stuff so obviously there's a whole lot introduced today once we get a device in our hand we'll be able to focus on a lot more but so far this is just a quick overview of the Galaxy S4 Enjoy that.